Hey there, everybody, and welcome. My name's Rick Hutzier here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today's video, we are back at the bench with the Brocock Ranger XR. Now, uh, we've done a good bit with this gun already. This is really like an ideal backyard shooting air gun. Can you take it out the field hunt with it? Of course, it's got enough power to do that inside, say, 35, 45 yards, maybe even 50 yards if the conditions are right. But realistically, this is a bench target shooting, perfect for like even basement shooting or like I said, backyard. We've got the zero dB moderator on there. It just screws right on the end of the barrel. It's just a super, very, very nice, well-built air gun. Now uh, this is brought to you by Air Guns of Arizona. So definitely thank you guys for providing this gun and, and the gear for us to have some fun with it. Today we are looking at things kind of differently. Um, I do a lot with JSP pellets. We've got the sign right there. Um, but I, they're not the only pellet maker on the market, right? So if I were to go back to say, I don't know, I don't know, even recently, I was just thinking about this the other day. If I were to classify JSB, how would I, how would I classify them? I would say they were precision and I would look at H&N as hunting. Well, obviously those lines have gotten very blurred with JSB and their Hades and their knockouts and all that other stuff. And now H&N, not to be outdone, have come out with a bunch of precision ammo. They've got their 15s and their 18s that are very much like the JSB 15 and 18s, but they've also had the Barracuda Match, the Field Target Trophies, and they've got the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. Uh, all of these, I mean, these, these pellet makers have got some great products. And the reality is, uh, you know, the best pellet is the one that shoots best in your gun. So while I have focused a lot of attention with JSB, it flies out of here. Today we're gonna shoot just H&N. I'm set up at about 27 yards. Uh, conditions are pretty good. I'm not gonna try and shoot 50 because any little breeze that comes up is, is gonna really impact, you know, what we got going on here. This is not a high, um, high power product. This is a, again, backyard, fun, precision, target shooting. That's what this is designed to do. So that's how we're gonna use it today. I will be running the, the FX chronograph just so that we can make sure we stay on the reg. Um, really quick about this gun, if you haven't seen my other videos, please, you know, kind of catch yourself up on it. But this little guy is cool. It breaks down. I could put it in a backpack. Everything folds up and it's like this big when it's all folded up. It's really, really nice. Really nice magazine. It's got a really nice side lever. It's got a folding stock so the stock folds in. Adjustable stock. Um, just a really, really nice air gun, really nice trigger too. So uh, it is a little on the pricey side of things. It's certainly not uh, a budget in the sense of a Walmart type big box store, not at all. Um, this is gonna be more for the air gun enthusiast, but I believe Air Guns of Arizona actually has it on sale, at least while supplies last. So depending on when you're seeing this video, that may or may not be the case. So definitely check it out. Um, I will have links just so you guys know. I've links to everything, here comes the wind. <laughs> I'll have links to everything uh, we talk about today will be in the video description. So if there's something you like, you can check it out there. All right, now that we've got a nice breeze, uh, which we didn't have just a few minutes ago, let's go ahead and start with, um, I think I'm gonna go with lightest to heaviest. So that's gonna start with the field target trophies. Um, then we'll go to the 15s, the 18s. Uh, let's see, uh, these are 18 twos, uh, 18 five two, 18 one three, 18 five two, 21 one four. And so yeah, so we're gonna start with the 14 sixes. Um, when I was shooting this yesterday, it seemed to do pretty well. I actually have a leftover pellet in here. That is one of those, uh, one of these. Um, I was surprised to see which pellet gave me the best results. We'll see if that holds true. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a full mag. There's 11 rounds in the mag, so it kind of confuses me at times. So if I screw up and only shoot 10, you'll know why. Um, and then we'll need to top off uh, every other magazine. So with this gun, it is regulated, but it has a very small uh, air cylinder. You're gonna get two mags um, per fill, which is for something this size, really good. Uh, it's important to mention, at least I think it's important to mention, that this actually um, is a pistol at heart. So this is actually more of a pistol than it was a rifle, but they put a stock on it, turned it into a little microcarbine. All right, so I've got set up with a 
14 sixes here. Um, I'll go ahead and get the crony running. I don't want to lose out on that. All right, so I'll be right back and we're going to do some shooting. Okay, aiming for the center target, 14 sixes. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's bad at all. Um, 14 sixes, spread was 19, and we're 17 ish foot pounds, give or take 16 and a half to 17 one. So not too shabby, certainly a pretty decent squirrel gun. Um, and these pellets obviously would do just fine. Um, at least at this 27 yard range, we'd be absolutely no problem. So uh, let's move to the 1589s. Um, I think these will be uh, an interesting test. And I really do think I mean, that's really not bad. We didn't really have anything really get away from us. I mean, it's not a one hole group, but it's pretty good. All right, we're gonna do a new string. Okay. All right, 1589s. Let's do top left. Seven hundred ten. Seems to want to push left on me here. Six hundred eighty nine. Hmm. The wind's picking up. Twelve. The wind, by the way, today is blowing right to left, so I, I mean, I could adjust for mill dots, but I'm just going to just going to shoot groups and we'll go from there. Seven hundred three. Seven hundred seven. Six hundred ninety eight. 712 698 694 694 712 Okay. Um, spread was 23 and the power we're getting is over 17 foot-pounds, almost 18 foot-pounds on one shot, 17.9. Um, not too bad, kind of pushed to the left, but that would be either a scope adjustment or, gosh, just use mill dots if you're out in the field and you can and you know your rifle and know what the wind's going to do. Um, but the group isn't bad. A couple pushed a little bit further left than I would have liked, but um, that ain't bad at all. We're going to top off now. And then we're going to shoot the 18s. Let's see what we got next. For those that are curious as to what I'm running for a compressor, I have the that little battery-powered compressor that I've been using, and I'll tell you that thing is stinking awesome. <laughs> um, I don't have many hours I have on it at this point, probably seven or eight hours, but it is it's something else. I mean, it has just been chugging along. <laughs> Literally chug, 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 chug. And it's doing a great job. I absolutely love that thing. 
haven't had a stitch of problems with it. Really, really worked well. So if you guys are wanting a little personal compressor that is you know, it's under 600 bucks, um, I can, I'll put a link to it. It's an Amazon thing, it's a GX pumps, a GX3 or something, a GX or whatever. Two batteries and you get a solid hour of runtime, um, which is pretty good. I mean, if it only takes three or four minutes to fill your gun and I'm probably f topping this off um, from wherever I'm at to 250 bar, um, it takes probably under two minutes. So you can imagine, you get to do a lot of shooting. All right, so I'm gonna shoot the 18s now. And I'm gonna go down uh, on the left-hand side. I'm just gonna go down the next one. Boy, the conditions have really gotten really good. A little bit of a breeze, but let's see how we do here. See if we're still pushing left. Six hundred sixty-one. Low. Okay. So as we are getting heavier, it's definitely hitting a little lower. Six hundred Last shot. Oh. Did I? Well, there. I must have missed one on the count. Oh, well. Um, okay, not as good with the 18s as with the 15s. Although, it's just that one that kind of, oh, sorry, my nose itches. It was just that one that went a little off. Um, I don't know, it was not bad. It wasn't bad. Okay, we're gonna go on now to the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. These are heavier. So I'll get this set up, we'll be right back. Okay, Barracuda Hunter Extremes. We're gonna go to the target just below the last one, so it'll be third down on the left. Now these have like a Phillips head sort of um, hollow point right in the front they're really cool and when you have enough energy and we should maybe try some ballistic shell with this see how it does but it, it, when they get that good expansion they can be really really good so let's see what we got here for accuracy though all right oh, really low 43 659 Okay, other than hitting low, and just so you guys know, what I'm doing here is I am aiming dead center for every bull. So you're sort of seeing what each different weight does and how the weight of the pellet affects the point of impact. That was good left to right, it's just low. So you could either use your mill dots or you could adjust your scope, but that is, I need to mic it, but that's probably half inch or so. 
certainly minute a squirrel head for doggone sure, or rabbit or sparrow or whatever you need to clear out of your garden. Um, yeah, that's really impressive. Okay, I need to top this off and then we've got one more pellet to do and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, last group here. So these are the Barracuda Match. These are the heaviest we're shooting today. They're sort of like the long range precision pellet from H&N. Um, you know, people ask me, what's the best hunting pellet? Um, and that pellet is, the best hunting pellet is gonna be the most accurate pellet in your rifle. <laughs> if that happens to be a domed pellet, great, shoot a domed pellet. Because I guarantee you that whatever you're shooting, whether it be a prey dog or jackrabbit or cocktail or whatever is gonna go, gosh, you know, if that had been a hollow point, gosh, you know, that, I, I just would have been so much more dead. Um, <laughs> dead's dead, right? So if you have an, a good, accurate dome pellet, use it. The, the most accurate pellet is your best hunting pellet, just for what it's worth. Um, all right, so if that one was hitting low like that, I think I'm gonna go to the top center on this one. I, I'm guessing we're gonna hit even lower because this is 21.14. By the way, all of these, uh, as far as the extreme spread has been, it's been a little over 20 feet per second, 21 to 23 feet per second on the extreme spread for these pellets. So let's see here. I'm gonna go top center. Are we good? Let me just make sure we're recording, yeah. All right, here we go. Gosh, that's low. All right, that's a, like, I'm at 12 power, and that's two full mil dots low. Yeah. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to hold the same hold. Hopefully uh, it'll group. But you, can, you guys can see as the pellet gets heavier, you can really see how it affects the point of impact. Did not register. We're right on the edge of this, maybe not catching all the shots, so. 624 624 Okay. I must have lost a couple. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing in the in the breach here. Yeah, we're empty. Okay. I'm going to go grab that target. We'll wrap this up, but just I think you can pretty much see those are probably too heavy. Um, they just did not group well. They started like they wanted to, but they didn't, and our, our spread was 31. So um, whether that's or not, you know, really get, you know, engaging the rifling well and getting a good seal or what, whatever it is, um, those didn't shoot well, but that's all right. Uh, we definitely got great results out of the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, but let me go grab that target and we'll wrap this up. Be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up, right? Um, so here are our groups, and looking at the back of the card, it kind of gives you a cleaner look of how your pellets actually went through the paper. Um, yeah, those Barracuda Hunter Extremes, that's what I wanted to show you guys is in my testing yesterday, kind of setting up for this, just kind of seeing if this would be a decent video to do, they really shot well, and that's about as good as they shot yesterday too. So not only did they give me a really good group, probably easily fit inside a nickel, easy, 
um, they do that consistently. So a little adjustment on your scope and you'd be in great shape. Um, I am shooting this Hawk. Uh, this is the Hawk, let's see, this is the Air Max 30. Let's see, uh, excuse me, Vantage 30 wide angle first focal plane. Um, at 12 power at 27 yards, the groups look this big. And while that's certainly not a great group, um, it would all be in the black if I just had adjusted the scope. So um, certainly not our best by any means, nor would it be the best pellet, but it's certainly not unshootable either. Um, these are the 14.6s, which uh, did pretty well. I think all of these here are not that far apart, really, if I were to mic the extreme spread on them and do a center to center. Um, they're probably pretty close. I mean, this is, we had a nice cluster of pellets hit here with a couple go uh, to the center there. Um, this isn't bad, but you've got, I, I'm just saying, when I look at the back of the card, which is sort of, kind of gives me a better a look, um, these aren't that far apart, really. But that one definitely did very well. That was a Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Um, for a hunting gun, I guess what I would want to do now, you know what might be a really cool project, a really cool idea is, I mean, the Barracuda Hunter Extremes did a great job here. Um, maybe we go and find the best JSB pellet, hunting pellet, like the, uh, the Hades, we'll try the Hades or Polymags, we'll see what runs and what works. And we'll see which of those stuff's the best, we'll have a little bit of a shootout. That would be kind of cool. And I don't know, I'll go through some oddball stuff that I have laying in the shop, and maybe we'll do one more sort of video with this. Um, really, really nice air gun. I know, guys, that if you're a, you know, a long range, high power, kind of a shooter, this is this is not your forte, I get it. Um, but if you're a backyard precision shooter and you just really want something that's high quality, fun to shoot, super quiet, shoot it in your basement, shoot it in your backyard, um, this is a great, great air gun. And it is expensive, but nice things cost money, I've come to find out. So absolutely, if it's money you have to spend, definitely take a look at it. It's a really, really cool air gun. I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors, specifically Airguns Arizona for providing the, the XR here, Hawk for the scope, FX for the chronograph, H&M for the pellets. Um, got a, just a great bunch of sponsors. Everything you see here, I'll have links down in the video description. You guys can check it all out. Guys, that's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Hutzel here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.